Hi, Daniel, would you like to introduce yourself? Hi Liz, hi everyone. Uh, my name is Daniel Patsak. I'm working as a software engineer uh, on our open source project at Aqua. Um, and yeah, that's it. Well, not quite it, because you're also, as of Friday, a certified Kubernetes application developer, right? Yes, that is correct. I'm very proud of it. And this is like the latest uh, achievement. Um, I do call myself a certified Kubernetes uh, application developer. Wonderful. So tell us a little bit about that experience of taking the exam, what it, what it was like. Uh, yeah, so I'm usually skeptical about uh, search, but this one was very important for me. It closed a chapter of me learning Kubernetes um, and kind of a self-esteem. Uh, I maybe under-evaluated it a little bit because it's pretty tough uh, when it comes to a time constraint. You have two hours and quite a lot of uh, tasks to be completed with a detailed um, description and for the non-native speakers, it can be challenging, you know, simply understanding what has to be done and then you have to do it. Uh, so that's challenge number one. And another one is uh, environment. It's a web-based environment. It's not your terminal, uh, not your bash with all the shortcuts uh, that you have configured on a daily basis uh, for, for, for the J job. Uh, but this has its, its constraints. So I, I was lost first three maybe exercises or tasks, um, I couldn't feel comfortable with it. So um, yeah, that, that, that was the most challenging for me. So what would you recommend for like maybe resources or exercises or something that people could do if they want to prepare for that exam? Yeah, so the resource number one I've, I've been using for a long, long time, and I think this is a book I spend most of the time with is the Kubernetes in Action first edition and there is a second edition coming. It's an amazing resource, well structured from the beginning, going to some advanced topics. Um, and then when you practice, I would advise uh, everyone to play with a kind of a Katakoda environment or very straightforward terminal. Uh, and do not use uh, like IDEs because you know I'm very often using uh, IntelliJ with uh, Kubernetes plugins. I have this, uh, you know, content assistant, uh, quick navigation to the docs, try simulating this as you are taking the exam. So the only thing you can have during the exam is a tab with the Kubernetes docs, um, official documentation. So also make sure that you know how to quickly jump or search on this website because the time flies during the exam. And, uh, and, and yes, this is like, uh, if, if you want to score high, you need to move fast. Well, wonderful. I think it's a really great achievement that you've got that. So uh, congratulations and uh, thanks for sharing your thoughts on CKAD. We'll put some links to the book and uh, the, well, the documentation that you mentioned and so on uh, into the video. Great. Thanks very much, Daniel. Thank you and have fun everyone joining and, and trying to, you know, getting certified as well.